Okay, so this is going to be video number one out of, like, however many we're going to have to make for today. And I know, today, we already uploaded two videos. Those were recorded last night. But I'm now awake, and I wanted to talk about some of the news going on in the NHL. Firstly, the David Savard thing, not done yet at the time of this recording. So that's why we're doing this one instead. I don't want to make a video about Montour to the Panthers because it is what it is. But this trade right here... Devin Dubnik getting sent over from the San Jose Sharks to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for Greg Patteron and a fifth round pick is absolutely hilarious to me. Because if you take a look at who exactly is going out there in this deal, sure, Greg Patron, big veteran defenseman guy, he was acquired by the Avalanche in, what was it, that Ian Cole trade a few weeks ago? And with Pavel Francouz in a position where now it's looking like he's not going to be able to suit up for the rest of the season, this is a move that the Colorado Avalanche kind of had to do. Get yourself a nice veteran backup goaltender who can be there in a spot where if you guys end up needing to rely on another goalie, he is there. We've seen a few playoff series in the past where the Colorado Avalanche really suffered because of their goaltending depth. And it's crazy how this kind of thing can just keep on happening over and over to a team like this. But it is a valid concern that they have had. It's just very funny to me that Devin Dubnik specifically is the guy coming back. Because if you've been noting the history between the Colorado Avalanche and who exactly they play in the playoffs and who they have their beef with... Devin Dubnik for the Minnesota Wild has been a very high target on that list. Dubnik was the guy that exchanged fisticuffs with Gabriel Landeskog all those years ago. And these guys are now teammates, so they're gonna have to learn to love each other in the locker room, which is gonna be weird to see as a hockey fan because we know the history. The whole five-pass Dubnik meme was one that I had been seeing pop up a ton in Reddit comments from Avalanche fans and how they're not able to say that anymore because he's on their team. It's just crazy how this thing goes down, but at the end of the day, it's something that I would say the Avalanche kind of do need because you can never have enough good goaltenders. So as a playoff rental, I don't really think this is a bad thing. It's just kind of funny who the guy is. As for San Jose, Greg Patron, as we noted in the Ian Cole video, which was a few months ago, he's a big guy. Doesn't really do much, but he's a big guy who's physical and he can be a body on the roster. The fifth round pick is going to be something the Sharks are going to like because, hey, you're in a position where you're a really old team. You need to get some youth in there. We know the Sharks aren't really in the best position to go forward and be in win now mode. So I guess you could say they're in a sort of rebuilding state. It's just kind of funny that they have all these big old contracts that are long and expensive. So who really knows how it's going down there in San Jose? But I'm going to end this video off here because we're we're just waiting on that David Savard news, and I kind of just wanted to make this little thing about the entire Devin Dubnik saga taking its way over to Colorado because of course it did. Those guys hate him over there, but now he is a part of their hockey team, so how exactly are Avalanche fans going to have to deal with this one here? But I kind of do want to make another video talk about Savard and all that because there have already been a few trades today, and it looks like we might be on the verge of seeing some more. So talk to me in the comments what you think about this one here, Devin Dubnik going over to Colorado. Again, it's hilarious, but at the end of the day, it is a trade for Greg Patrick and a fifth round pick. If you're a Sharks fan, let me know what you think. If you're an Avalanche fan, then let me know what you think because I know you probably have some thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ashworth's 99 and bye.